I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on statistics. We'll discuss interquartile mean in this particular video. Before getting into the details, let me talk about quartiles with the help of a box and whisker diagram. Let's say we have this box where Q2 is something like this, right? So so we actually draw it like this. So in this box, we represent Q1, Q2, and Q3 as these three uh, measurement quartiles. Now in these quartiles, we see that this portion is the first quartile. So from the lowest to the uppermost, this represents from L to Q1, that is our first quartile. And this one is second. Then we have third quartile and this represents the fourth. Now when we are talking about interquartile mean, then we are actually finding the mean of the middle 50% of the data. Right? So that means this portion. So that is your middle 50% of the data. So we assume that uh, all these things have been excluded, right? And we are actually working in this 50% of the data, right? So mean of this is what we call as interquartile mean. Is that clear to you? So the idea is that whenever we are given a data set, we'll exclude one fourth of the data on the left side, one fourth on the right side, and find the mean of the data, 50% of the data, which is right in the center. That's the concept, correct? So therefore, once again, interquartile mean is the mean of the middle 50% of the data. Now, when you're trying to find mean of the 50% of the data, if the data is divisible by four, then it's kind of simple, right? So this is a simple case. However, if the data is not divisible by 4 in the data set, then we have to involve some strategies. So in example 1, we'll take a simple case where data set is a number of data points are multiples of 4. And in the, the other three examples, we'll see what happens when we have a data set as 9 or say 11 or 15, okay, which are not multiples of 4, perfect. So I hope that it is going to help you to understand the concept. Now I'm not basically using any formula here, but we are using simple concepts to understand. And as we go along, at the end of all these examples, you'll clearly get how we should be calculating interquartile mean. Example number one is find interquartile mean for the following data set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So in this data set, we have 12 observation which we'll be working with. So we can say we have 12 observations, right? Each element of a data set is considered as an observation. Now, 50% means of 12 is 12 divided by 2, which is 6, right? So that means we are interested in 6. We have to exclude 6 also, right? Since 12 minus 6 is also 6, correct? 
So what we do here is that we exclude 3 from the left side and 3 from the right side. Now since this data is already arranged in one order, which is increasing order, so we don't have to do, uh, sometimes a step is required to arrange the data. So we have taken cases where the data is already arranged. If that is not the case, you need to arrange, right? So what we are saying is exclude. We are only interested in 50%. That means half of them we have to exclude, right? So out of 12, we exclude 3 on the right side and 3 on the left side, right? So we have excluded 6. Now, we find the mean of what is available to us, the 6 items, the 6 observation sets. Well, now we consider to find the mean. So the mean will be, add them all, 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 9 plus 10 divided by 6. So that gives us the answer. Is it clear to you, right? So let's do it. So we have 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 9 plus 10. And we are going to divide this by 6. That results into 7. So what we get here is 7. So our option C is the right option. Is that clear to you? Right. So when we have a multiple of 4, it is not difficult. Exactly, we could cancel it or remove the unwanted data, which is uh, on the left and right side. And we are working with the central 50% of the data. right? And we get a result. Now, let's take the next example. Now, in this example, you'll find that the number of data points are different. So the question for you is, you need to find interquartile mean for the following data set round to three significant places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we have nine observations. So if we have nine observations, then what is 50% of nine? 50% of 9 basically means 9 divided by 2, right? So we are only interested in 4.5 observations. Correct? So let me write down these numbers once again and then we'll work it out. So we have these numbers as, let me write them bigger, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 11, 14, 16, and 20. We are saying that we are interested in 4.5. So that means we are not interested in 4.5, which are on the extremes, right? So, so what we are not interested in is also 4.5 half on this side and 4.5 half of that on this side, which is 2 point. So when you divide this, you get 2.25. Correct? So what you could do is definitely you would cancel 2. But how do I treat this 0.25? That is a big question, right? So here is a strategy to deal with this 0.25. So what we do is we kind of put them in circle or bracket saying that they are partially considered, right? 0.25 is not considered, but 0.75 of this is considered. So 0.75 will be considered. 0.25 will not be considered for the value given here, right? And for these, full one value will be considered you are getting the concept, right? So full observation for the middle three numbers will be considered and only 75% of the observation of these two, which I put in brackets or you can put in circles, will be considered to find the interquartile mean. Is that clear to you? 
So we can write now that interquartile mean will be equal to, so the middle numbers 8, 9 and 11 will be added as such. Plus 75% of 6 and 14. Right? And 50% of 9 is 4.5. So we are going to divide this by 4.5. Does it make sense to you? So that gives us interquartile mean. Is that clear to you? Now let's calculate this value. Okay? So I'm putting two brackets. And then we have 8 plus... 9 plus 11, one bracket close, plus 0.75, bracket open, 6 plus 14, two brackets close, divided by the weight, which is 4.5, the answer. So what we get here is, uh, let me write this in decimals, right? So we'll write this in decimals, we get 9.5 recurring, right? So 555, now that could be we want to write our answers to three significant places. So I'll round this to nine point. See, this is like this, 9.555. Now, since this is slightly more, so we'll say one, right? So 9.56. So that becomes our answer. Option B is the right option, right? So that is how you're going to get it. So what we did was that when the data is not multiple of 4, we have to treat the terms partially. So 0.25 is not considered, 0.75 is considered for those terms on the extreme and full observations of the middle terms has been taken. Is that clear to you, right? Now let's take the next example. I would like you to pause the video, copy this question, solve and then look into my suggestions and check your answer. I hope you got this one. The question number three, find IQM interquartile mean for the following data set around three significant places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we are not talking about 15 observations. Do you see that? Now, 50% of 15 is how much? 50% of 15 is 15 divided by 2, correct? 7.5. Now, that means we have to take 7.5 from the center, exclude half from the right side and half from the left side. Do you understand, right? So, that is the case, right? 7.5 means we'll take 7 full and then 0 0.25, 0 0.25 on the other extremes. You could think like this also, right? So let's also divide 7.5 by 2 so that we know how much to be taken away from the left side and how much to be taken away from the right side, correct? So 7.5 divided by 2 in decimals is 3.75. Do you see that? 3.75. So we have to remove 3.75 from each end. Right? So when we say from each end, we mean from the first quartile and the fourth quartile. Right? So each end means first quartile and fourth quartile. 3.75 means 3 I can take full, right? 3. And the fourth one is partial. So we'll put brackets around it, just as we did. You get the idea, right? I have to take away 0.75 from each side. So what we will do here? For these observations, we'll have a weightage of 1. But for these observations, we'll have weightage of 0.25. Because we do not want to consider 75% of it. We will consider only 25% of it. Is that clear to you, right? So we get, see how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? 0 0.25, 0 0.25 makes it 7.5. Does it make sense to you? 
right? Now let's find the interquartile mean. So interquartile mean will now be equal to, let's put the two brackets, right? These seven numbers, which are 6 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11, plus quarter of these two, 0 0.25, times 5 plus 11. Is that clear? Bracket close divided by the weight which is number of items observations which is 7.5. Is that clear to you right? Now let's calculate. So we'll just put two brackets 6 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 bracket close plus 0.25 within bracket 5 plus 11 bracket close 2 brackets close divided by 7.5 in decimals this is equal to 8.4 we have to write three significant places so we'll write 8.40 c option is that clear to you right so that is how we are going to do it perfect now, here is your test question, the last one. We are taking slightly bigger numbers. Again, they are all arranged in an increasing order, right? Normally, the first step is to arrange them in increasing order. Then do, right? Find interquartile mean for the following data set. 34, 62, 70, 75, 78, 84, 88, 90, 96. How many observations are here? Let's write down. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 observations. 9 observations. So 50% we need is 9 by 2, which is 4.5, right? So that means we have to exclude 2.25 from first quartile and 2.25 from fourth quartile correct so let's exclude so two full and this one partial do you see that this one partial so we excluded 25 percent of it we include how much 0 0.75 do you see that and these full one so you say one plus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75 gives you 4.5 does it make sense to you perfect so now we can calculate interquartile mean as equal to just add them all the center value 75 plus 78 plus 84 full weight right plus 75 percent of these two on the boundary 70 plus 88 divided by the 4.5 50 percent of data right okay so again two brackets 75 plus 78 plus 84 bracket close plus 75 percent of 70 plus 88 two bracket close divided by 4.5 since there are nine observations we get 79 as our answer. See. So I hope with this, it is absolutely clear how do we calculate interquartile mean, right? So there are of course many formulas to work with the sigma notation, but that is kind of confusing at times. I hope you appreciate and understand the approach which we have taken. So the idea is to work with 50% of the observation values exclude the 50% on either side if it is not a multiple of 4 then we give weight right so in, in this particular case 2.25 so 25% of the value was excluded 75% was considered and that is why we multiplied by 0.75 to the sum of these two values we took full weight of 1 for the rest Total weight is 4.5. So you divide by 4.5 to get interquartile mean. Perfect. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and
all the best